Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again. This is more bad business gameplay. Imagine cheating in a kid's game, right? That is going to be the title of today's discussion because unfortunately there is quite an epidemic of cheaters on bad business and I don't know whose responsibility the anti-cheat is. I don't know if it's Roblox, I don't know if it's the team behind bad business. I don't really know how it works, but you can find videos on YouTube of people linking to all kinds of horrible cheats and horrible scripts and horrible garbage and unfortunately YouTube doesn't have a good reporting system or I would have reported them and hopefully got something done but unfortunately we live in a world where cheaters prosper and good people don't. And on bad business it's kind of no different and it's ironic because almost every game I play I get accused of being a cheater because I actually shoot back and sometimes I shoot back rather well and it's, it's kind of funny, isn't it, because there are so many cheaters that I suppose people have got almost paranoid that the moment they see somebody doing what they perceive to be too well, they think that they're indeed exploiting something and not playing the game the way it's meant to be played. And it happens a lot, and I don't mind it too much, because the vote-to-kick system doesn't really work. Uh, unless you know an admin and you can get somebody in a game to kick somebody, people don't vote, and the voting system is inherently flawed, and it's a double-sided sword. On the one hand, I wish it worked so we could get rid of actual cheaters, but on the, on the other hand, I'm glad it doesn't work because I would get kicked almost every game. And it puts you into this inter interesting situation of when you lose a gunfight in this game, because it is a very high skill ceiling game as much as it, you don't think it would be, all considered, you start to contemplate how you lost. And there's a couple of stages that I go through when, when I lose gunfights. I check the level, you know, if they're Prestige 560, you know they've got a lot of time on the game. And then you look at their profile, and they've got 120,000 kills. And you realise, this is a person who's put the time in to earn their skills, and they killed me fair and square. GG, right? Then you look into other things. Are they on mobile? Because if you play on tablet or mobile, you get this interesting aim assist that can shoot for you and and can do a lot of crazy things, which I don't know too much about because I've never experienced it, but I've seen the Petrify video mentioning when it was much worse than it is now. And then you look into what was the gun, you know? What was the gun that killed me? What hit me? What hurt me? What made me take that damage? And a lot of the times, these variables add up and you just died, you know? But there are times when they don't. And I've got a lot of footage of cheaters killing me and I find it really easy on this game to spot them personally because you die so much quicker than you normally do. And usually, the situation that led to your death is different to a normal death, which was what makes it even more obvious that something is strange. Because what you do once you play a game long enough, you can estimate a time to kill. When you're up against normal players, you can generally notice when you stay, start taking damage to when you die to how good the player that killed you is. When you come up against a better player, you will notice that that time is shorter, because they're landing their shots, they are reading your aim, they're reading where you're going, they're reading your evades, they're reading what you're trying to do, and they're guessing correctly, and they're landing their shots. Unless it's a grenade, the grenades are just fucking ridiculous. You die to grenades all the time, and no, no one knows where they come from, they're, they're just preposterous, and I would delete them immediately, but, you know, I don't make the game. But when it comes to standard time to kills, you know Unless there's some kind of extenuating circumstance that when you die, you can tell that it's something is amiss. And then you have to look into, well, what were you doing? What made it so different? Because in this game, the quickest you can kill somebody is up close, because your bullets do the most damage because of damage drop-off. If you get all headshots, you can put people down in this game very quickly. But what do you learn when you play bad business? You learn that getting all headshots in a row on a moving target with this kind of mobility and a game this quickly is very difficult to do with guns that have recoil and it's not something you're gonna pull out your ass at somebody at mid-range who's moving. So when I'm running from spawn to get back to a king of the hill and I'm zigging and I'm jumping and I'm sliding and I'm being quite evasive because it's just what I do. As I play games as if every single person in the server is looking at me and about to hit me in the face. I play games like I'm watching your screen and you're about to shoot me with a sniper rifle. So when I'm doing that and I die immediately like the server, the, the server Jesus, like the server stacked a bullet on me and I check my ping and it's no higher than usual. I know immediately, wow, something happened. Were they behind me? Was something bad going on there? And then you look at it as it pulls it to his camera, and it pulls it 200 yards away to a guy sliding on his knees. So then you have to ask yourself, well, what's going on there? 
So this guy hit me at an impossible angle while I was sprinting at full sprint, super sprint, whatever it's called. And not only did he do that, but he did that with an AK shooting while sliding. So unless this guy's the best there's ever been, unless I'm playing against, you know, fatality, then I'm, something's going on. And it's so evident, right? So you, you go, okay, this guy's really good. Let's find him. Let's hunt him out, see if we can spot him again. And then you respawn, and as you run forward, you become part of a, a three-man feed. A three-man headshot feed, no less, using an AK that only has 30 rounds, a slow fire rate, and three perfect headshots on three people in a row. Quite unlikely, unless you're just, you know, the best. And then you realize that he wasn't even on your screen, and he's far too distant from where you are to hit heads like that and do that kind of damage, because he's not missing bullets. He's not missing bullets on moving targets at, at mid to long range. And then you know that person's cheating. And they're, they're usually the more subtle people where it's not as, you know, ridiculously overt. There are some people who literally are in the air spin botting and just hitting everybody. There is a person I played against last night. We were having a really contested King of the Hill on Brazil. And I kept spawning in and getting damage notifications. You know that little red symbol that tells you that someone's shooting at you? And I was in my spawn, like nowhere near the conflict. And it was because there was a guy on the enemy team shooting through walls. And it wasn't that obvious at first, because I think he, he didn't toggle it up. And then when I shit on him a few times, it got to the point where there was like a nine-man feed with a P90. And if you can do a nine-man feed with a P90, you're the best bad business player there's ever been. Like, a nine-man feed with a P90, just think about that. 50 rounds, a gun that's that weak and has that bad range. Like, you must, uh, he must really have a good gamer rug or something. And then they, they become easier to spot. The thing that I don't understand is, is why a system like this, like Roblox is a very popular system, right? It's the framework where people make games and it has to have some kind of baseline fundamentals going on, one would hope, right? I, this is me talking out of my ass once again, as I often do, it's kind of my thing. But I would have thought that there would be some kind of baseline for, for spotting a, a discrepancy like that. Like, have you ever seen anybody get 99% accuracy in a match when they, shoot a, when they shoot a certain amount of bullets? Like, have you ever seen a headshot percentage like that in that kind of time? Like, humans don't do that, you know? People on this game aren't that good. And there's some really good players on this game. And what happens on, on the servers that I've joined is I remember the names, so when I jump into a lobby and I'm up against somebody that beats me in a gunfight, somebody who's moving really well, somebody who's kicking ass, I remember the name, and then I see them again, I'm like, yeah, that guy's a good player, that guy's gonna give me a good gunfight, you know? But they're not cheating, because it's a proper gunfight, we're both missing, we're both juking, it's a, it's a 1v1, it's how it's meant to be. And then you get these level zero bots running around, who are just unbeatable. And then sometimes you might have just got really unlucky, other times it could be lag, it could be a few things, but a lot of the times it is, unfortunately, that there's a lot of people cheating. And I'm always the first person who wants to say that someone isn't cheating because I feel like it's an easy excuse now. I feel like the new generation of players are throwing out cheating against anybody that beats them. Anybody that beats them in a gunfight is a cheater, right? Because their ego can't take the defeat. And you're going to get to see a, a nice ego-crushing guy coming up in a moment at the end here, watch this. But how do you guys feel? Do you like people that come into the game and spin bot in the sky like this moron? Always with an AK as well on a new account. It's it's interesting, isn't it? Look at this, there's no ex look at that kill feed. I just died twice in the same kill feed. <laughs> That's a cheater, guys. And uh, I know it might not be the nicest thing to get killed repeatedly by somebody, but... At least they're killing you with their own hand, you know, killing you with their own skill. The person in the sky there is, that is a cheater. That's what cheating in a kid's game looks like.